Hi, welcome to our telehealth video information series. I'm Garvin and this video is on Lumigan drops. So what are Lumigan drops used for? They're used for raised pressure within the eye or ocular hypertension and open angle glaucoma. And how does Lumigan work? Lumigan eye drops contain the active ingredient bimatoprost which is a type of a medicine called a prostaglandin analog and it's used to lower pressure within the eyeball. The pressure within the eyeball is naturally maintained by a continuous flow of liquid called aqueous humor through the eyeball. Aqueous humor is produced by a part of the eye called the ciliary body. It drains out of the eyeball through channels called the trabecular meshwork. If the outflow of aqueous humor is blocked, the aqueous humor builds up inside the eye increasing the pressure within the eyeball. This pressure needs to be reduced, as otherwise it can damage the optic nerve and impair vision as a result. Bimatoprost reduces the pressure in the eye by mimicking the action of a naturally occurring prostaglandin. Prostaglandins are a group of natural body chemicals found in many places in the body. In the eye, they increase the drainage of the aqueous humor out of the eyeball. Bimatoprost is a synthetic compound related to one of the natural prostaglandins. It works by increasing the drainage of aqueous humor out of the eyeball. This decreases the pressure within the eye. Bimatoprost is used to lower raised pressure in the eye, for example, in glaucoma. So how do you use Lumigan? Lumigan eye drops come in multi-dose bottles that contain the preservative benzyconium chloride and in single dose vials that do not contain the preservative. The multi-dose bottles can be used for four weeks after they are first opened. The single dose vials are for single use only. They contain enough solution to put one drop in each eye if needed. Any drops remaining in these vials after use should be disposed of and not kept for future use. Wash your hands before using the eye drops. If you wear contact lenses, you should remove them before putting in these drops. You should wait at least 15 minutes after using the drops before putting your contact lenses back in. One drop should be put into the eye that needs treating once a day in the morning or sorry, in the evening. Immediately after administering the eye drop, close the eye and press on the tear duct at the corner of your eye closest to your nose. For about one minute. This is to minimise the amount of medicine that may be absorbed into the bloodstream, which will increase the local effect in the eye and minimise adverse effects elsewhere in the body. Take care to avoid the drops running onto the skin around the eyes, cheeks or other areas of skin, as repeated contact with the skin can result in hair growth in those areas. Wipe off, off any excess eye drops that run onto your skin. If you miss a dose, just apply your next dose as usual. Don't use the drops twice in one day to make up for an earlier missed dose. You should not exceed the recommended dose, as using the drops more frequently than this can actually make them less effective, and they're not to be used in breastfeeding. This medicine is not recommended for children and adolescents under 18 years of age, as there is no information regarding its safety and effectiveness in this age group. This medicine should not be used if you're allergic to one or any of its ingredients. So <clears throat> please inform your doctor or pharmacist if you've previously experienced such an allergy. So in pregnancy and breastfeeding, the safety of this medicine for use during pregnancy has not been established. It should not be used in pregnancy unless considered essential by a doctor. And it is not known if this medicine passes into breast milk after being applied into the eye, the manufacturer states that it is not recommended for women who are breastfeeding. So the side effects of Lumigan would be red eye due to excess blood supply, growth of eyelashes, eye itching, headache, blurred vision, eye irritation, burning sensation or pain, redness or itching of the eyelid, inflammation of the eyelid, and increased pigmentation or hair growth on the skin around the eye, inflammation of the membrane lining the eye, causing pain and redness. So the side effects I've mentioned may not include all the side effects reported by the medicines manufacturer. For more information about any other possible risks associated with this medicine, please read the patient information leaflet that comes with the medicine or talk to your doctor or pharmacist. 
how can this medicine affect other medicines? If you're using more than one type of eye drop, you should administer them at least five minutes apart to prevent the second drop washing out the first. So use eye gels or ointments last. So that brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact me through our website, mytelehealth.info or call into us at Lynch's Pharmacy, Douglas Cork or ring 021-436-6923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.